Hi, welcome to Senior Savvy. I'm Jane Wells, your host for today's show. Senior Savvy is brought to you by the Oshkosh Senior Center, where it's our mission to enrich the quality of life for adults ages 50 and older. Today is a very exciting show, and I have a very special guest on today, <laughs> and some of you are going to recognize him right away. I would like to introduce my guest today, Jerry Burke. Jane, Hello. So pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. And of course, people probably recognize you from your days on uh, local TV or Channel region. Two, yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. And how many years were you with Channel Two? Almost thirty-five. Thirty-five years. Yeah. You were coming into our living rooms and yep. doing haunting you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm a little bit nervous, you know, nah. hosting with you today. No, when, no. And all of your expertise and professionalism, but you're here today okay. in a different capacity. Yep, I'm here to help uh, the senior center. I'm on the board now of the Friends of the Senior Center, and uh, so they roped me into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure many people are kind of wondering, Jerry Burke, where have you been, or what have you been doing since well, you retired? Well, uh, it's 11 years I'm retired now, and uh, I've been very involved with other volunteer efforts around the community. Uh, I'm doing some, I was doing some classroom teaching at the center, mm -hmm. uh, helping people write their life stories yeah. and we were having fun doing that took a little cool. time off now because i had to have some recent surgery but uh nothing serious but uh so i took a little time off we'll probably re <clears throat> reactivate it in the fall mm -hmm. and then i've got our we've got our golden retriever who is a buddy he's 13 now he's a retired therapy dog he's a, been a doll to work with he's just a He's my boy. Oh, yeah, very neat. So I know that you're very passionate about the pet therapy. Yep. Um, so tell me just real briefly about that. So well, what exactly do the dogs do or who do you Most visit? people confuse a, a therapy dog with a service dog. Service dogs mm -hmm. are to help people who have handicapped blind, uh, people who are confined to a wheelchair, uh, that type of thing. People who have um, maybe have seizures, the dog will recognize it. A therapy okay. dog basically is a, is a companion where we go visit people in the hospitals, nursing mm -hmm. homes, and so on. And uh, Buddy's better known than I am, which I <laughs> love. I mean, we go someplace, everybody's welcoming Buddy, and right. then it's like an afterthought, oh, hi, Jer. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's like when you have kids, everyone's yeah. like, oh, the baby, the baby. Yeah, oh, right. the dog, the dog, the yeah, dog. And, and right. he's very good with people, so. Well, and um, how wonderful. For 13 years to be able to do yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that's great. The best part, Jane, is that he is a rescue. We got him when he was four ah. years old, and he was not very social. Now when we go on walks, I, I've been, since my surgery, I've had him off leash to walk because I don't want him pulling and tugging. Sure. And uh, he sees somebody in the yard, he goes up to him. He's campaigning all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. So. Well, today we are here to talk about a great event that's happening this summer, um, and it's happening several times, and it's called Food Truck Fridays. Right. So why don't, let's, let's talk a little bit about what exactly Food Truck Friday is, because there is a lot of buzz around these, these events, and they are a lot of fun. So well, I think the big buzz right now is, is it going to happen this year? Because if you drive anywhere near South Park, you're going, there's no way. Because you see all the fences and all the construction equipment that's in there, folks don't let don't let the fences fool you and all the right. construction equipment. Food Truck Friday will happen. The first right. one will be a little bit, will be shifting a little bit. The trucks will be on Georgia Street instead of in the park itself. Right. Um, part of the park will be closed off, but where the playground equipment is for the children, yeah. that will be open. The, there will be a stage, I think we'll be, we should be able to use the small pavilion, and by July we'll be back to normal. But right. this first one's going to be a little little different. Well, and I think we even have a map to show people. So um, for those of you looking at the map at home, um, really yeah. most of where we hold the event is not impacted by what's going on at South Park. You can still enter through Georgia Street. Um, you see the big pavilion. There's some great changes actually this year. Um, last year, for those of you who were there, you might recall that the band was inside the pavilion. This year, the band is going to be on the outside of the pavilion, and it's going to be up on a stage. And I think we'll all be able to hear them a little bit better, the different bands that are um, playing. And also, you'll notice that the food trucks are going to be lined up along Georgia Avenue um, or Georgia Street. Um, so they're all going to be there. And then the Pavilion number two is where the beverages and the beer and um, other things are going to be sold. And then the splash pad and the new playground are all behind that. And um, we're hoping that uh, we're confident that the parking is going to be paved inside. So by the old pavilion or the, well, 
we used as the pavilion last year. There'll right. be parking available within the park. Um, but the area that's all gated off isn't really part of our event anyway. And so it shouldn't be an obstacle to us. In terms of parking, you can park, you know, read the signs on the street to know mm -hmm. where to park. You can also park in the church parking lot across the from South Park, and there is a small fee that goes to a really good cause for them. So um, we are excited that food trucks are going to be happening. I think it's going to be a great event. Um, so I think we need to tell people when they're going to be happening and that kind of stuff. Well, the first one is June 15th. Um, that'll be the very first one. <coughs> Excuse me. And the second one will be July 20th, and the third one, August 17th. The big difference this year, Jane, is that Judy Brewer, with all her, she's the president of our board, she, through her wonderful effort, she has been able to get a hold of the Fox Valley Food Truck Association. So we will have 12 food trucks right. guaranteed at each event. And there will be some little rotation, so they right. won't always be the same. But there's going to be a, if, no matter your taste in food, well, Mexican, Spanish, right. uh, the same thing, <laughs> Italian, uh, so on, uh, you'll be able to have fun there. And uh, right. the other thing that I really want to push is that, uh, that's the wrong word. Sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> The other big thing is that there's a misconception by a lot of people that because the senior center is putting this on, it's just for us old fogies. Oh, no. It is a very no. family-oriented event. It and, definitely uh, is. The and more it, kids we've got, the better right. it will be. And what was so neat about the event, um, you know, last year, I just remember walking and coming up upon it, and there were families um, spread out on blankets, and there were older people sitting in lawn chairs. Mm -hmm. The entire park was covered mm -hmm. with multi-generational people mm -hmm. using it, right. all there for the same event. And like you said, with the variety of food trucks, you know, Timmy wants corn, Susie wants cotton candy. I mean, you can meet all right. those needs. Yeah. Plus, it is a fun time to try something really different that you might not normally try. Right. Um, and then kids can be playing in the play area, and the parents can be there hanging out watching them but listening to the music it is a great event for families for seniors for everybody i mean it really doesn't just apply to one age group it applies to all age groups which Absolutely. is so cool yeah the big thing i'm worried about and I'm, it's, this is me <laughs> uh, with the the first event this year on june 15th the band will be on a flatbed truck and i pray to god that ma will open the clouds and give us clear skies that night because I don't want the band getting wet. They don't right. have the pavilion to hide in this year. Right. Yeah, if I can use that term, but... Uh, yep. And <laughs> so let's talk... Okay, so they start at 5 o'clock in the evening and they nine, go yeah. until... Um, 9, 9 p.m. 9 right. p.m. at night. And, of course, um, when somebody comes and they go to these variety of food trucks, you obviously pay the food truck vendor for the food that you purchase. Right. Um, and then the beer and the, the beverages is all um, at that separate concession, station, yeah. and that, again, benefits the Oshkosh Senior Center. Um, so we're at South Park. It's a family event. It runs from 5 till 9. And, um, you know, I do recommend people bring a lawn chair or a blanket um, so that you can sit down and just chill out and relax. Yeah. <laughs> The, 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 the food truck Friday, they're saying, where's the money going? Well, this is really mm -hmm. the Friends of the Senior Center right. major fundraising event, and that helps support a lot of the functions that take place at the Senior Center. Without exactly. this, there were things that we're, we're able to accomplish, like the fitness center and so on, mm -hmm. that just would not be able to happen. And with the way the, the generations were, there's a lot of people who are going to be turning Yes, there that, are. That magic mark at 50 where you get the AARP. That's right. Say, welcome <clears throat> to the club, you know. That's right. Uh, but so it's, just, it's, a, it's a good bit, and we right. are probably one of the best functioning, and I, this isn't mm -hmm. patting us on the back, but we've had more senior centers from across the state come to some of our board members, not me because I'm fairly new on the board, mm -hmm. But saying, what are you guys doing that's yeah. working so well? Yeah. So, and Food Truck Friday, to the, to the credit of Judy and a couple of other ladies on the board, they went to a thing outside of the state to an event that had a food truck. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden this idea blossomed about exactly. doing this here, right. but having a boatload of food trucks. Right. So that's right. how this thing is kind of just, it started with a little seeding, right. seedling, and now it's become this big event. Exactly. And, you know, mm -hmm. um, I remember Judy first kind of pitching the idea, and we're all going, hmm, yeah. you know, food trucks back 
then, you know, yep. was somewhat a st for this area, a newer concept. So this all started in like August of 2016, I right. think was the first, first time one. we yep. did one. Yeah. Um, and it was a hit right out, right From away. From the get go, yep. yep. And I do wanna just say that the friends of the Oshkosh Senior Center are all volunteer. These people um, raise funds, but they put in many, many hours doing this and they volunteer their time and it, it is all to benefit um, the senior center and the seniors of the area. But um, so Judy first started this or the friends first started this in August of 2016. Um, and now this year, as in last year, three of them yep. um, throughout the summer and estimated attendance is what, 1500, 1500 per, yeah. per event. It's and we'll great. have 12 food trucks per event. Yes. And there'll be a little rotation in the July and August right. ones compared to what we'll have in June. but. It, it really is a good, and I'm glad you pointed out it's volunteers. It does not go to the Jerry Burke Retirement Fund. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But, you know, um, all of these things take help from the community. Oh, yeah. So we do have some sponsors that we would like to highlight who yeah. are contributing and helping us to pull all of this off. So we have um, the Community First Credit Union is the presenting sponsor. The event sponsor is Amro <coughs> Pharmacy. The park sponsors are Care Partners and Sweetwater Performance Center. The entertainment sponsors are Evergreen and Valley VNA Senior Care. And the pavilion sponsors are Aurora Healthcare and Bemis Company. Yeah, and there's many other sponsors that are helping us out too this year. And um, kudos to them to coming in and helping us out because that, that helps mm -hmm. the money that's being raised to go where we want it to go. And when I say we, that, that is the entire board, right. because we do want to funnel it into the center. And uh, that, that is a phenomenal center, that's all I'll say. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let's, well, we're gonna talk more about the center and some of the, you know, the whys, you know, and mm -hmm. what it actually goes towards. But I do want to go back to music because I'm all about music. <laughs> so the first um, uh, food truck, which is June 15th, um, it's going to be the Brothers 2. Right. And I kind of Googled them a little bit to kind of see about them. Um, they uh, play 50s, 60s, 70s, a variety of instruments, um, including harmonica and dulcimer, but also some standard instruments. Um, so we're excited to have them be playing. And do you know who's coming up July 20th? Yeah, it's the Neil Young group. Uh, yeah. The Neil Young group. Tribute band. Tribute yeah. band, or you, you want to say it, impersonators. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> but they're good. Yeah, and, yes. if you're, and Neil Young, of course, goes from the late 60s into the 70s. Uh, the first one is my era. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> and then the last one will be the Mason Street Band. Right. But it's all good entertainment. And it, the other thing that we should point out, Jane, is that the music is not overpowering, so you got to yell no. to, to talk right. to each other and stuff like that. Right. So. Yeah, it's, it's not your... Alpine Valley concert where you can't talk to the person next to you that's because that's not the atmosphere we want. What we do want is great music in the park, people being able to sit down and have a conversation, enjoy the music, have some beverages, watch the kids play or whatever. But you're right, it is, um, it's just a really neat event and a really neat atmosphere. All right, so June 15th is the Brothers 2, July 20th is Harvest and Neil Young Tribute Band, and August 17th is the Mason Street Band. So what else besides the park to play in and the stuff to buy and the food to buy and the band to listen to, what else is going on? Well, one of the things that I, we, there's a lot of things to point out, but there is a misconception, and I don't want to say it's a widespread one, but there's a misconception that to go to these things, you have to be quote unquote a member of the senior center. And that from the get go is totally false. You right. do not have to be a member. Uh, if let's say that I, I just moved to town and I go out to the center and I want to use the fitness center that I have to join. No, you don't. Right. Uh, and most of the centers across the state are that way. Right. And, right. Uh, but, uh, so you don't have to be a member. In fact, a lot of the places you go, if, you, if I went from here from Oshkosh to say La Crosse, uh, if I go in there, I'm welcomed. And uh, people from La Crosse, vice versa, yep. they come here. Oh, definitely. They welcome you. And that's, right. But, to keep these places functioning, <clears throat> we have to raise money and we have to c count on mm -hmm. the, the community to help us out. Right. And boy, I'll tell you, we've been getting some fantastic help from the community. That's wonderful. Uh, kudos to all those who That's are helping wonderful. us. So. And one other way that people can help us at this particular event, because we don't charge an admission to come to oh. it, um, but it, you know, we will be walking around with 50-50 raffles or pull tabs. And so you know, if you have a few extra dollars and you want to participate in that in a 50-50 raffle, um, whatever money is collected, 
if you are the winning person, mm -hmm. you get 50% of the pot. Mm -hmm. um, and I know um, last year, because I was one of the raffle tickets sellers, um, it was several hundred dollars. So, mm -hmm. you know, so if you have a few extra dollars, there's no admission to come to this, um, you know, and you want to help continue to support us, it's, it's, um, yeah, join the 50-50 or the pull tap raffle. raffle. It's the lottery <laughs> odds. Yes, it does, <laughs> exactly. So real quickly, I do want to, you've been, um, gracious in talking about the Oshkosh Senior Center. We do serve people 50 and older. There yeah. is no membership. Um, people can support the friends, um, and some people confuse that with a membership, but you know, your financial support to the friends um, definitely yeah. helps us because it comes right around to us. Yeah. But um, and Anything that is donated to the friends of the Senior Center, that is tax deductible. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you want to work it that way, that's fine. Right. Um, you can donate to the center any way you want, but the friends will help you get your tax deduction, and it'll also right. we we take the money and we use we spend it where right. it's needed the most. Like right. this last year, we 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 put, made a very healthy contribution to the fitness center. And if you go look at the fitness center today versus six months ago, you're going to go. Wow. wow. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, there's been some fabulous changes in there. And you know, what I like about our fitness center is um, people at all places in the journey are in there working out. You get some mm -hmm. people who are just starting mm -hmm. and you know, they can't walk on the treadmill for more than five minutes. And then you get some people who can do a full workout, but no, it's a not, no judgment. And yep. it, you're not working, you're working out with your peer group. Mm -hmm. And um, it's wonderful. And like you said, you know, through the friends, we were able to purchase some new treadmills, and those yep. will be coming in soon. Um, we're and they ain't your dollar forty nine one either. They're, <laughs> no. they're, they're very nice ones. Yes. So. And you know, we're expanding our life fitness series, yep. which is very senior friendly. Um, so we are so thankful for the friends that they've been able to help us do that to mm -hmm. continue to build that fitness center. Because you know what, if our mission is to enrich the quality of life. It all starts with some level of fitness mm -hmm. because we aren't going to have a quality of life if we don't have any level of fitness and, and or health. The medical community will back you that, back yep. you up on that 110 yep. percent, uh, because we're hearing more and more every day about how fitness is so vital yep. to good health. Right. And, uh, so right. enough of the preaching. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, but you know, and at, uh, the the senior center does accept silver sneakers mm -hmm. and yep. silver and fit and the optum so if you have any of those plans through your health insurance yep. um you just come and you can work out and and it's free f to yep. you so well jerry one last time why don't you give us those dates for the food trucks june 15th july 20th and august i get a cheat 17th <laughs> uh all three and then they're all going to be good. I just pray we have good weather this year. Yep, 5 Ma's to 9 really, South Park. And Ma really threw us a curveball with that snowstorm in April. <laughs> Wasn't that and something? I mean, that threw everything behind a solid two weeks. Right. And what we've been going through recent has not helped matters right. much, but they'll get her done. Right, exactly. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there at the Food Truck Fridays. I'll be taking pictures. Awesome. And thank you so much for coming oh, on and, and glad sharing to do it. about it. Glad to do it. Good. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Jane. Right after our, we're going to take a quick break and then we come back, we are actually going to view a Silver Sneakers video. See you in just a minute. Granddad, it's me. I an accident in Mexico. I I'm in jail. Jimmy, is that you? Yeah, it's Jimmy. I need money for bail right now. In jail? You need to send money right now. Please don't tell anyone. Scammers are tricky and can pretend to be anybody in any situation. They seem like the real deal. They play on your fears. The goal? To get you to act fast. Check out if they really are who they say they are, even if they sound like a loved one. Heard from an imposter? Report it at ftc.gov slash imposters. Hello and welcome back. So right before the break, I talked about how the Oshkosh Senior Center accepts silver sneakers as one of the plans. We also do um, silver and fit in Optum. 
But Silver Sneakers has a variety of videos out there and there's, there's one that I would like to share with you. And it's about meditation and you think, oh, why do we need to meditate? You know what, because it's really good for us. It calms our, our spirit. Sometimes we can get really anxious about things. And so meditation is a great practice to build into your life as part of uh, health and wellness just for your whole being. So here is a Silver Sneakers video on meditation. confession when life gets really crazy my mind gets scattered I've been told I need to meditate I would guess that you've probably been told the same thing we're gonna practice meditation together today it's gonna be easier than you think I promise scoot yourself into a comfortable seat find both of your feet on the floor and roll the shoulders up back and down we're gonna practice a breath together. You're welcome to watch me be goofy or be goofy with me. So I'm gonna breathe in like my entire body just sucked on a lemon. Breathing in, scrunching my face and all of the muscles of my body. Breathing in and then letting it go. Feel free to shake your limbs. Allow yourself to have a little fun with it. Two more breaths. Inhale, lemon face, lemon body. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now you've just reset your breath. We're going to reset the mind and the breath together. I'm going to sit back in my chair, allow my feet to rest comfortably on the floor, and allow my back to be supported by the chair. You and I are going to follow along. I'm going to close my eyes, and you're welcome to close yours too. You can keep a half gaze if that's more comfortable for you, and place the hands anywhere on your body that you would like. So go ahead and close down your eyes and see if you can just find your breath coming in and out of the body. Allow the movement of your breath to be natural, steady, and easy for you. Feel free to adjust your body now to make yourself five to 10% more comfortable in your seat. As you're ready, continuing to follow the breath, come to your mind's eye and imagine your favorite spot in nature. This can be absolutely anywhere. The ocean, the forest, an open field, you get to choose. Once you've established your place in nature, allow yourself to be there for a couple of moments with the breath. Take a look around and notice anything that you see that is beautiful and brings you comfort. Pay attention to the sensations of being grounded in that spot in nature. Maybe you notice some smells or the temperature of the air, noises, anything that calls your attention it makes you happy. I invite you now to take a look around and find an object in your favorite spot in nature that brings you joy. This can be as expansive as the blue sky or the ocean. It can be an object that you might find that can fit in your pocket. Allow yourself to imagine what it might be like to take that object with you into your daily life. Give yourself that power now. Continue to breathe in and out and offer your spot in nature a little gratitude for bringing you joy. Know that this is somewhere you can return to at any moment on any day. Come back into the physical body by allowing our breath to deepen a little bit and make a little bit more movement with the chest and belly as we breathe in and out. You can start to blink the eyes open gently if you like. Allow your senses to come back into the room. 
and find your feet on the floor. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, and just find a little bit of movement so that you're back in your body. Meditation does not have to be difficult. It can be as short as one conscious breath. Conscious breathing, elongating the exhale, activates part of the nervous system that's responsible for rest and digest. This is something that we can do to build focus and to unscatter the scattered mind that we all share. You've just meditated and you've helped me meditate too. I hope you found that relaxing. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some upcoming programs at the Oshkosh Senior Center. And of course, the first one that I want to talk to you about is that we actually do have meditation available for you at the Oshkosh Senior Center. It's called Mindfulness Meetup and it meets um, Monday, June 4th, but then otherwise on Tuesdays. And you can find out more about that by calling the Senior Center or looking it up in our newsletter, The Current. The other thing I do want to mention is we have some fabulous woodshop classes. If you're interested in learning how to uh, start carving, um, we have beginning carving classes, wood burning, we have intro to wood burning, and then you can go into more advanced practices. Um, making a bench, learn how to use the scroll saw, the bandsaw, the router, all these different tools and learn how to actually create things. We have coming up on Wednesday, June 13th in the afternoon, an American afternoon, flags, pies, and baseball. If you have an old flag that you need to dispose of, um, the MVETs will be there to help us do that properly, run us through a flag folding ceremony, and then we're gonna have a pie contest to get your bake on, and then let's watch some Brewers baseball, why not? Our big event, Night on the River, is coming up on Wednesday, June 20th from 5 to 8 p.m., and that will be right at the Oshkosh Senior Center um, in the on the lawn outside and we'll have pontoon boat rides and live music, sque freshly squeezed lemonade, bounce house food available, all different kinds of things. That's our night on the river on June 20th, um, 5 to 8 p.m. Oh, I don't know about you, but do you have too much stuff hanging around? Well, goodbye stuff, hello space from overwhelmed to done Tuesday. June 26, 10 to 11 p.m., come and listen. Jennifer Strachan, owner of In Its Place Professional Organizing Services, is going to kind of teach us and walk us through some things, how to get rid of the clutter, how to let go. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's a little bit hard to let go of some of that stuff, and she'll help us with that process. Um, but a clean space helps to free our mind, and it all kind of goes back to that whole meditation and relaxing thing. All right. One more program I want to tell you about is listen to your gut. Do you, do you have to check out where the restrooms are the first, as one of the first things you do when you enter someplace? Come and see this. June 26, 10 to 11 a.m., J.J. Allen from Hometown Pharmacy. And lastly, mark it on your calendars. The Golden Tone Summer Concert is going to be on Sunday, July 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., Oshkosh Senior Center North Building, with musical guests The Fox Sounds and Dan Elvis Sanchez. And, of course, Paula Steinert is the director of our fabulous chorus, The Golden Tones. Again, that's Sunday, July 15th, 2 o'clock p.m. at the North Building at the Oshkosh Senior Center. Free will offering will be taken, and there will be light refreshments afterwards. Whew. That's just a quick rundown of what we've got going on. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you at the Senior Center soon. Thank you. Have a great day.